I'm Amanda Saladin from Love Life Yarn, and today we're going to be making a simple puff stitch face scrubby. That's a great gift, so I've called it the giftable face scrubby. It's just single crochet, puff stitches, and double crochet with chains, and it's super easy, four rounds, make great gifts, perfect size, and honestly, I use reusable face scrubbies like these, and I've used them for about a year, and they hold up really well. I just throw them in the washer and dryer, and I really love them. So I encourage you to make these and try them out and give them as gifts. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. Materials I need for this project include one skein of DK weight cotton yarn. I like these Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel cotton skeins because I can get a lot of different projects out of this. I deconstruct the cake into smaller sections based on color and then I have coordinating colors for my projects. Scissors, a yarn needle, and a size G crochet hook, which is a 4.0 millimeter. The first step in our face scrape pattern is to make a magic ring. So hold the yarn end and wrap it around your finger. If you're doing a larger project, I'll use two fingers to get a bigger, so it doesn't really matter. You can use one or two. So I'm going to do it with one because this is pretty small. Make an X, and then hold it with your other finger. Or if I was doing two fingers, I'd hold it with the next finger. Now reach under this first strand with your hook and pull the second strand through. Now take your finger out and it should look like this with your yarn tail hanging off to the left. And it gets a little fiddly till you get it and get used to it. Go ahead and chain one. And now you're ready to work into your magic chain, magic loop, say edge circle, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's your yarn tail. You're going to work over these two strands that are held together right here. We're going to single crochet. So insert your hook into your loop, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. We're going to do that eight times so that you have eight single crochet. So go ahead and do eight and we'll come back together and I'll show you how to close up this loop. All right, when you finish, it should look like this. Grab your yarn tail, give it a pull. Pull it nice and hard and it should close up. You might have a little bit of a hole. We can come back and get that after there's more to it. And then there is your little ring. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch right here. To this first one. Grab mine again and we'll slip stitch it closed. And now we're ready to work our puff stitches. We're going to puff stitch in each one of these eight single crochets. So that to begin we'll chain one and now puff stitch you yarn over or insert in the same one we joined Pull up a loop, we're gonna do that three times. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Okay, that's two. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, and now you have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of them. For some reason on camera when I'm working, I can never pull it cleanly through all of them easily. Sometimes you'll get a little piece of another one. Sometimes I worry about that, sometimes I don't. So I usually just, you're going to chain one anyways. I just go ahead and, and chain one through it and there's a puff stitch. So let's work another. Yarn over, insert, one. Yarn over, insert, two. Yarn over, insert, three. Yarn over, pull through. See that time I was able to do it and chain one. So work this in each puff stitch and you'll have eight puff stitches at the end of this round. So I finished my eighth and hit a little wheel here. We're going to join with a slip stitch to this very first puff stitch. And now we're just going to repeat. So you'll chain one and you'll work a puff stitch 
in every puff stitch, so the top right here, and then in the chain space. So look for your chain space. See it in between there? So you'd work in there, and then you'd work right here in the puff stitch, and then in the chain space. So we're gonna do that so that you'll have 16 puff stitches next time. So we're pretty much repeat this round, just working also in the chain spaces. When you finish the third round, it should look like this. So you've got the, you know, one round of the little single crochet and then two of our puff stitches, which makes it nice and textured for a face scrubby. And now we're going to slip stitch over. So you're joined at the top of this puff. You're just going to slip stitch into the chain three space or chain one space. I'm thinking about what I'm doing next, which is chain three. So chain three. And we're going to work two more to a double crochet right here. This is going to count as a stitch, so it counts as a double crochet. So yarn over, insert into your chain space, yarn over and pull up the loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. That makes a double crochet. Repeat that, yarn over and insert, pull up the loop, pull through two, and pull through two. So those are our double crochet. Now chain three. Now for each chain space around, so you can see in between these spaces here, those are our chain spaces, and we're going to work three double crochet and then chain three. So we'll work right here. One, two, three, now chain three. Repeat for each one of our chain spaces and then join right here to the top of our first chain three with a slip stitch. All right, after that round, you are finished and it looks like this. It may be a little wavy um, and that's okay. You lay it down and you kind of flatten it out. If it stays that way a little bit, go ahead, feel free to pin it down to something flat and wet it, which is blocking, and then just let it dry and it will stay a lot flatter if you're going to gift it that way. That works. And now you just clip the end off. Of course, leave enough so that you can weave in the end. And then you can pull it through. I don't actually put a knot here. That way I can just weave in my ends. So you can pull this one. Never my one went in the middle. Pull it tight, it may not close all the way, and that's fine for me. I like the little opening. Sometimes when you put a lot of stitches, it doesn't close. Weave it in right here. I weave it in that very first single crochet round. I go around and I come back and then weave this one into the base of your double crochets right here, just back and forth a few times, and that should hold it in to where you have a nice, um, secure end, I don't think I to say that, that will not come unraveled. Because for me, personally, I just throw all of mine in the washing machine and the dryer with my regular clothes. And it's made out of this yarn, all the ones I've made, and it works out perfectly. So I hope you've enjoyed this free tutorial. Come visit us at lovelifeyarn.com for more than 200 free patterns, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.